Yeah. It takes about 40 days for just for things to stop seething in the brain. And then it's an additional 90 days, the brain kind of resets itself. When that happens, what we found when we followed them, and they start feeling, okay, I'm going to be okay, then all these feelings that they haven't had for a long time just hit them, and they are flooded. And it's about the time of what we call a fourth and fifth step in the, but basically it's grief, fear, anger, um, all this stuff starts needing, that's never been dealt with, never been regulated. So, so in a lot of ways, the addiction, the behavior, the drinking, well, everything is just... a way to keep a lid on it. It's, it's just a medication to, it's, it's an attempt right. to avoid pain. Yes, if, if a person is going to relapse, it's not going to be in the first six months, it's going to be in the second six months is when they're most likely to relapse. Also physically, when they go through that, it's an ordeal. Physically, they can get more sick. Their immunological system becomes suppressed. I mean, all the kind of classic symptoms of the body being less well, because they are in so much turmoil. Once they get through that, then it takes about a year to start re-engineering things. And then it takes about another year for the family and marriage and kids stuff to straighten out. It's literally a three to five year process.